Have you ever wondered what happened to Charmix, the beloved YouTuber known for his infectious laughter and entertaining reactions to YTP? Fans from around the world have been left puzzled by the sudden disappearance of Charmix. Today we will look into the reason for his disappearance. Born on September 30th, 1994, Charmix, whose real name is Carl, captivated millions with his genuine reactions and charismatic persona. He created his channel in July 2017 and his channel consisted mostly of reacting to videos. His iconic beanie and the mystery of what's under it is what made his channel special and unique. His most popular reactions were to YTPs. If you don't know what YTPs are, they are basically... well, it's kinda hard to explain, so I'll just show you instead. Well then, we will then, and we'll hone it. He was unique due to him being his authentic self on camera. He wasn't a YouTube persona, he was him, just on YouTube. Aside from his reactions, his fans loved that side of him and wanted to know more, but sadly very little is known about his personal life. Most we can get is from his A Day in the Life video. But in early 2021, he abruptly vanished from the YouTube scene, leaving his dedicated fanbase in shock. His last video being uploaded was This is my last video. That is now deleted. In that video, he goes over why he is leaving YouTube, and by the sounds of it, it seemed serious as he opens the video saying the video is either uploaded because he passed away or because he got fed up with YouTube. What is up you guys, if you are seeing this, that means it is my last video. Now this part right here that you are hearing is actually kind of like an update to the original video I had planned to upload as my last video. Basically I had this crazy feeling that I was going to die, you know, within two days. So I started panicking and I made this video. And I still want to get this video up, even though, you know, it's been months since I actually recorded the part where I thought I was going to die, so obviously I have not died. But nonetheless, this is my last video. Video, if you are seeing this and I still want this to be uploaded so that is why you are now seeing it I hope that gives some context but yeah this is my last video and the reason why it's my last video is either one I actually have passed away or two I've just gotten fed up with this website because it's really gotten bad on here in terms of you know what you can and what you can't show what you can and what you can't say I feel really in a box if that makes sense like I can't express myself I can't say things I want to say without you know without being in fear of it damaging the channel so I, I have honestly just had I've had enough so either that has pushed me over to the point of quitting or I have passed away and now that that has been said here is the part that I filmed a few months ago for those of you who don't know I am a I am a Christian and it is you know is my duty to spread the word of God and to teach other people and I figure since I have somewhat of an audience I should do that so as my last video that's what I plan to do so if you're interested I um I encourage you to stick around but basically all I want to ask you is you know do you know where you're going when you die because like just think of consciousness just think how crazy it is that you are aware of who you are you're aware of everything just com complete consciousness just try to understand that it's so mind-boggling and then think of artificial intelligence and AI and you see how far we have come and yet AI artificial intelligence still hasn't reached the singularity which if you don't know what singularity is it's when artificial intelligence becomes conscious and there are the smartest people in the world working on you know artificial intelligence the smartest people and yet artificial intelligence hasn't become conscious but humans are conscious when what does that tell you that obviously means that there is a god like if you have the smartest people in the world working on something and we can't get it right how do you expect a big bang how do you expect just a random act to create consciousness to create life to create something that the smartest people cannot create that right there suggests a level of intelligence much greater than us. I mean, we have the smartest people in the freaking world working on artificial intelligence and we can't get 
consciousness, and yet you and I have it, what, by some random act? Like, that's just crazy. So, um, you know, I'd like to ask you all a question. Has anyone ever, you know, taken the Bible and shown you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven? Well, the Bible has some bad news and good news for you. And the bad news is that you're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No one's perfect. Your thoughts, your actions, you know, they're sinful. Just even one thought, you know, one strike, you're out. And the penalty of sin is death. You know, suppose you worked for me and I paid you 50 bucks. That $50 is your wages. That's what you earned. And, you know, the wages of sin is death. And you sin, you die. But the good news is that God sent his son Jesus to earth to die for you to take your place. That way you can be with him. And I know a lot of people don't even believe that Jesus existed. Well, just think of the date. We are in 2018 AD, after death. And, and when people say BC, it's before Christ. Obviously he existed. The Bible says that Christ took the penalty that we deserve for sin, placed it on himself, and died in our place. Three days later he came back to life to prove that sin and death had been conquered and that he is God. Because if he didn't come back to life, he, would have, he, might, he could have been just a random person, right? And you can get saved just by believing that he did that for you. It's just faith, not by actions, it's just faith. You have to depend on him alone to save you and to forgive you. It's just as if you were to sit on a chair, you trust it to hold you through no effort of your own, you trust solely in the chair. And the same way is with your s sins, you trust Jesus to forgive you and him alone. So if this message, you know, touched your heart in any way, I definitely encourage you to ask Jesus to forgive you. And yeah, that's basically it. But I want to thank everyone who has been with me on this journey. It's been a blessing beyond all. But uh, yeah, anyway. While Charmix has been vocal about his battles with anxiety and depression in the past, it seemed that something more profound may have triggered his withdrawal from the spotlight. His mental health struggles were evident, perhaps taking a toll on his overall well-being. Charmix has always poured his heart and soul into his videos, leaving himself vulnerable to both admiration and criticism. It is important to remember that Charmix is a human being with his own battles and complexities, and that this immense pressure could have caused him to retreat in order to regain his sense of self and find solace away from the public eye. Rumors began to circulate, with some suggesting that Charmix had fallen ill or faced personal issues. However, no concrete evidence emerged to support these claims. The truth behind his disappearance remained elusive. That is, until a few months ago, where he seemingly returned to the internet under the name Freshcut Slim. I will continue to refer to him as Charmix to make this video less confusing. On that channel, he mostly uploaded music, but he recently started doing more reactions and unique content like cooking. He answered a lot of questions in his Q&A video, Am I Charmix? mostly regarding his disappearance from the internet and what his new channel is about. To sum it up, he has been working at a 9-to-5 job that he doesn't like, and he took time that he was off internet to explore what he wants to do in life, and how he sees himself because he was burnt out. In videos that he appears in, he's seen wearing his iconic beanie along with a new mask that is interesting to say the least. He can also be found on his second channel, Fresh Cut Content, where he also uploads daily videos that are similar to the main channel ones. So yeah, Charmix is back, but not as Charmix, but as Fresh Cut Slim. I look forward to seeing his reactions and the new content he is planning on making and wish him the best in life. He seemed to be doing a lot better mentally and I hope it stays that way. Thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe if you enjoyed it. We are close to hitting a thousand subs. Like the video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!